Welcome back. Much milder air into the area, and so is the rain. Let's take a look at our current conditions at Newcomerstown. Cloudy skies and 42 degrees on this hump day morning at 7 a.m. And in Cambridge, cloudy skies and 40 degrees. Pressures at both locations dropping off slowly, but will increase later because that's indicative of that low pressure system making its way toward our area. You can see the, the developing areas in the area of the Tennessee Valley down along the northern Gulf Coast states and a stationary front located out here in the eastern plain states that will help to supply the catalyst to kick this precipitation into gear. By the time Friday is over with, parts of Ohio could see upwards to three inches of rain, mainly along and south of I-70 and along and east of U.S. Route 23. Temperature is not too bad. You see a tongue of mild air moving northeastward pumped northeastward from the high pressure that was along the Carolina border this morning at 7 a.m. That's going to stay in here until oh, Friday when the cold front finally makes its way through the area. So temperatures are going to be near record levels on Thursday in some parts of Ohio. Local map doesn't show much except down here at the very bottom left side of the screen underneath our date stamp shows some areas of heavier rain starting to move to the northeast. That will definitely be the trend for the next 24 hours, as tomorrow at this time, this map will probably be looking like a Christmas tree all lighted up. Temperatures 30 degrees in defiance to 50 down here at Marietta Parkersburg and 52 degrees at Huntington South Point. The traveler's forecast then looks like this for the day Thursday. No getting around it, rain everywhere. Very mild as well. Toledo will have the coolest of the daytime highs forecast in the upper 40s at 48 degrees. Ironton, South Point, approaching 70. A high of 69 degrees tomorrow. And mainly along and south of I-70, wherever you're at, highs will be in the 60 degree range. Enjoy it. Mid-February, you know it won't last. Five-day forecast then looks like this. The book ends Thursday and Monday. Rainy, but very mild. Highs in the 60s. Friday showers residual, 48. Saturday becoming partly sunny, 39. Sunday, mostly sunny, and 49. So as far as that's concerned, that five-day forecast looks more like spring instead of the latter part of winter. But don't worry. Cool air is building back up in the northern tundras and could be heading this way soon to a neighborhood near you. Dave will be back with sports and the big two-game winning streak for the Cavaliers in just a minute.